Alright, so I'm back. Okay, so uh, this is our first weapon of the game. The N92F, or the M9, if you, the Beretta M9, if you want to, the, uh, the full uh, destination for it. Beretta. I've changed up the, uh, the camera location as well, so things might look a little bit fuller, maybe, not sure. I apologise about the lens glare or my PS3 going to fucking overdrive, but that's just the setup I've got right now, to be honest. But, you know, I'm not looking, well, uh, I'm looking for some decent quality of these videos, but I'm just recording just for the sake of it, you know? I've explained this before, but, you know, I believe in old school recording. I've tried many capture cards and they're all been shit. Or well, I've just not got the right like components for it, or the right laptop or the right programming, so I'm just like, eh, well. Uh, to be honest, I think this is good enough anyway. It comes out in MP4 anyway, so yeah. Right, so pressing the R1 button shows you where your partner is. Holding L1, ready as your weapon. Pressing R1 while holding L1 fires your weapon. Uh, it has got a built-in automatic. So basically, if you just hold down the trigger, it fires shots at a slow rate of fire, but that's fine. You got triangle, this is your infantry, and different from Resident Evil 4, and similar to the old school Resident Evil games, you have limited inventory. But if you press R2, this is your partner's infantry. But there is a box feature, which we'll come across in a bit. You, you go to your box, um, in between chapters and like off the main menu and everything. Look at you. I can still hold my arm. But, yeah, <laughs> convenient please, wouldn't Great. Anyway, yep, yeah, swing knife, you hold L2 and R1. That's your melee of the game. Now, the difference between Chris and Sheva's melee is um, Chris has a bigger reach. But slow swings, and Sheva's knife is actually slower, but faster. Uh, Chris actually has. I know they're both green, but ooh, nasty. But um, Chris actually takes more hits, while Sheva is actually uh, a bit quicker. Now, if you press and hold the circle button, you bring up two menus to the right, covering attack mode. Um, cover mode, Sheva sticks near you. Now, if I just move to the back, right? In cover mode, Sheva sticks near you and primarily uses a handgun at a slow rate of fire to conserve ammunition, ammunition, ammo, basically. But if you press on the circle and go to attack mode, she starts going off on her own and starts collecting items of her own, as you can see here, you know, stuff like that. And uh, she uses her high okay. tier weapons first so if I remember um, if you have she uses machine guns first then shotguns then snipers and then pistols last but for your first time you wanna keep her in cover mode at all times only go to attack mode if uh, the situation arises where you are outnumbered by a lot of enemies or you know, you defeat all the enemies, but you got a lot of items to get, so you can send her in attack mode to go get the items while you get some. I mean, I have gone through the game in both modes, and um, if you want, if you want more of a challenge, attack mode is uh, a lot harder to do. Because the thing is, though, in cover mode, um, she's a lot more frequent with healing. When your meter goes down to uh, about. 40%, 50-60% she'll use herb on you, but when she's in attack mode, she'll actually wait until your health goes down to red, well not red, orange, sorry, so about 20% of your health, and then she'll come and heal you. So, you know, if you're new players, stick with cover, for experienced players you can experiment all you want. I mean, there is no wrong way to play Resident Evil 5, actually. Resident Evil 5 is pretty good for, um, for any type of playstyle. Like, if you want to, like, if you don't want Sheva wasting your heal items, like, you can put it in attack mode and you can play the healer if you wanted to. I mean, the AI actually... Yeah, let's get ready. Actually, the AI actually has a faster 
Oh, right, fuck, kill the keep game playing normal. Um, that's what I was saying then. Uh, yeah, the AI actually has faster reflexes than you in attack mode, so you can uh, thing it. Uh, so you can, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, to reload, you press L1 then X like I did then, or you can go to triangle, move up to handgun ammo. Now you've got two ways you can do things. You can either press X to bring up the sub menu, and then combined with the handgun, like old school Resi, Resi 5, uh, old Resi, school Resi 5, what the fuck am I about? Old school Resident Evil, or you can press square to highlight it, and you can move it to other parts of your infantry. Or you can just combine it like that. Now, this space, this space, this space, and this space is actually highlighted to the D-pad to switch between items very quickly. So, handguns in the up position, the M92F, and uh, green herbs to the left. So, you can quickly switch to working uh, it. And also, you can give your items to your partner as well. Anyway, this was the section I was on about with the hordes of enemies which you have to kill to um, get the, uh, the treasure. But, we're gonna say, 180, fuck that! So to do a quick turn, you just hold back the left stick, hold down, and then just quickly tap X, and then you do a 180. Very handy, very handy indeed. I'm Granata. Red herb. So, um, the green herbs, there's three different types of healing items. Four, excuse me. You've got the original green herb, you've got a green green, which is two greens together, then you got a green red. Now, the green heals 25%. Two green herbs together, a GG, make uh, heals 50, and a red and green makes uh, heals you fully completely. And you got first aid sprays, obviously. The only thing that's missing, no yellow herbs. So if you're coming straight from Resident 4 to Resident 5, expecting an increase to your health. Don't even bother because um, there is no yellow herbs to increase your health. That is your health and your health alone. There is a way to mitigate damage. So basically you take less uh, damage. Now if you remember in Resident 4, I think it was towards chapter... Fuck, I need to get this right now. Uh, in the fact... No, not the factory. The, uh, towards the end of the game, you do get a, a, a combat vest. That um, Thanks, that decreases uh, you know bullet damage, fire uh, arrow damage, and physical hits and stuff. But in this game, you have two different types of vests. You got the melee vest, which decreases um, melee damage. I think it's by 35%. I think either 35 or 40, something like that. And you got the bulletproof vest, which decreases range damage by. Um, Okay, I'm going to get to take that um, by uh, 40% some, 40 and all that. When you open an item and your partner's close by, you just press circle Roger. to uh, tell her to pick it up. So instead of like grabbing it and giving it to her. The only reason why I grabbed it and gave it to her is because she was uh, quite uh, a while away, so let's quickly do it. Alright, see what's going on here. Oh Christ, got the battle there. I kind of wish they had um, translated subtitles for the African speaking. Yeah, that's the guy from earlier. And he's about to get a close shave. For my final request, I want you to play Where's Your Head At? <laughs> So yeah, this is the bit from the demo actually, the Resident 5 demo. And uh, this is actually a pretty fun bit. But um, the thing is though, um, I kind of like how the developers at Capcom did this for new players. 
like basically they let you off easy and now you've got this fucking horde to deal with. This is like, hey, this is Resident 5. We'll fucking mess around here, boy. So, uh, first of all, we tell Shiva to push that. And this will buy us uh, a bit of time to get some ammo and shit. So, this is basically a, uh, a timed survival bit. So, a bit of time now. Alright, so we're gonna stop it here and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you in a bit. What's happening?